Hi good people and welcome. Join me today as we explore the four stages of the fall of man. Now this is from the book of Romans chapter 1. Stage number 1. Man begins at a place of knowing God. Now even the most wicked person that we know, the murderer, any man you know, any wicked man you know, uh, they all begin at a place of knowing God. Um, whether there is a preacher who preached to them or uh, you know they had the message, even the person who's never heard anything about God, somehow within them they have an innate knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. They are created in the image of God. They bear the breath of God. They bear the mind of God. So in them, there is something within them that inclines them towards what is right and what is wrong. And uh, in addition to that, there is uh, creation. Creation has a way of revealing God. Uh, creation reveals the divine attributes of God. Creation reveals the majesty of God. So there is no man who can claim that they never ever knew the existence of God. Now stage number two, they, they make a choice not to honor God as God. They make a choice that they are not going to honor God as God and they refuse to give thanks to God. So they, they want to use the resources of God, the life of God. They have the resources of God, but they do not want to worship and to honor God as God. They do not want to submit to the convictions of God. So they choose to dishonor God. Stage number three. Now because man is created in such a way that they have um, a yearning to worship, a higher being that created to worship. So they, they begin to look for another being to worship. So they create images of animals and birds. But number one, they create even the, the, the worship man who becomes his own God. He wants to be self-fulfilling, self-directing, you know, and, you know, he wants to be self-sufficient. So man begins to walk a journey of uh, you know satisfying gratifying you know his own desires now here is what god does in stage number four god gives man up to his own lusts god abandons man and because it's only god who can help you to do what is right when he abandons you then you become you know you, the bible says he gives you over to the last know of your heart and as a result of that you you get a depraved mind your mind becomes depraved meaning you don't have a right judgment the right judgment of issues and and the other thing is that uh, he gives you over to degrading passions we will cause them degrading passions and actually lists them you no know, homosexuality you know uh, you know all kinds of wickedness you know uh, slander you know you know um malice envy wickedness of all kinds now you 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 get this depraved you know degrading passions and as man indulges in those things he becomes so fallen he becomes so immersed in wickedness that he actually approves he, he becomes an inventor of evil and actually gives hearty approvals to people who are doing evil and that is how far man goes in folly and you know what this wickedness piles up wrath from god it piles up wrath from God. God, but guess what? There is a way out. God has provided a way out. Now stay with me on these episodes as we explore Romans and see how God now comes in and you know redeems man from his fallen nature.